friends, Sweetie Pie, and welcome back, back again. I wonder if that is like a copyrighted thing. I'm gonna assume not. Anyway, hey guys, welcome back to my channel. As always, we're here with another video, with another video, with another video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my god. Uh, okay. This is the last video I'm filming for the day, and then I have a bunch of editing to do, and I have some cleaning to do as well. And then I have to wake up at 2 o'clock in the morning and open the store. Oh, so much fun. So much fun. I get Saturday off today, though. I get Saturday off, and it's in two days. I got today off as well, and that's why I'm filming and doing all my house cleaning and all that good stuff. But... Anyway, that's not what you came here for. Today, we're going to talk about some, and I wanted to put a number on it, but honestly, I just went through my collection, looked at some brands that I really loved, and we're going to call this palettes under $30. More bang for your buck. And what I did was I have so many eyeshadow palettes right now. Um, I just did my eyeshadow palette collection, so I'm sure you can see. And I kind of just picked through there and looked for the palettes that I felt that you got the most bang for your buck. And what I mean by that is you got a ton of shades, the shades worked well, and it wasn't all that expensive. I think that that is going to be like the premise for today's video. If you're looking for a bunch of variety, some shades that, you know, you haven't used before, maybe you're a beginner, maybe you're, you know, um, you don't wear a lot of eyeshadow. I notice that a lot, even with the people that I do see that wear makeup in general a lot of them do not wear a ton of eyeshadow so today this video is for you for the girls that you know they want a ton of variety they want to be able to play around with colors they want to be able to experiment with their eyeshadows but they don't know what brand to go to so we're gonna look at a couple brands i have got uh what do i got here makeup wound rude cosmetics yeah i got rude cosmetics bh cosmetics this is a lot of cosmetics. I've got Wet n Wild, Crown Brushes, and Morphe. And I'm going to show you some of the palettes that I've really enjoyed from them that I think you really do get a really, you know, a good bang for your buck. Anyway, let's get into this video. Do not forget to subscribe, guys. That's so, so important in this world of YouTube. You really want to subscribe to my channel and like this video. That helps me out a lot as well. Comment down below. Do you have any palettes that are a really good bang for your buck? Let me know down below. I want to know. All, All right. right. So the first brand that I'm going to talk about is actually the brand I only have one palette from. But I think that this is a great palette. Now, this is the OMG palette from Crown Brushes. It is their 35 OMG. And as much as I did... I do like Morphe's formula. This palette is a very, very good formula as well. The colors are really beautiful. They are mimicked exactly after the Jaclyn Hill palette. I think as some kind of joke or something. Honestly, I'm, I'm sure that the Morphe one is probably just as good, but I did want to mention that I did try this palette. I love it. There are tons of neutrals. There is some like warm reds. There's some blues. And I think that the pops of color are done in a very classy way where it could be like a shimmer on the lid. Very, very nice. The quality is beautiful. I have swatched and done reviews on this palette before. I've used it in videos. I like this palette a lot. Have I used it in the last month? No, because I have like so many. But honestly, if you're someone that is branching out into using more eyeshadows, I think that this is a banger. It has tons of matte shades. The only shade that this palette does not have, and the same thing with the Jaclyn Hill palette, is like a matte cream shade. That's the only one that's missing. I, you know, you could totally use your powder that you use for your face on your eyes and it would work the same way. So I don't think that that's like a deal breaker. So yeah, that that is the first now, palette. The second one I want to mention is, of course, Morphe. This is for the person that has some eyeshadows and wants to branch out 
in a certain color direction, color story. You know, let's say you really want to try some purple eyeshadows. You're going to buy, you know, the new purple eyeshadow palette from Morphe that came out that's only like $30, $39, I think it is. I think it's the same sort of pricing as their uh, Dare to Create and their James Charles palette. So it might be a little bit more expensive, but you could also go with this one. This one, and I'm not sure if this is sold in the U.S. anymore. I know that I heard some people saying some. It's still sold in Canada. So if you're a Canadian girl and you're watching me, you're in luck. Now, Morphe has a ton of other palettes that you could choose from. I really love the 3502. That is a cool palette, although I, like, there are a lot of repeats of like brown shades that that's just the truth this one on the other hand i think is just a perfect 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 palette for someone that wants to do color this is the artistry palette this is the 35b color burst palette it's beautiful these shades work really good for the cost of these palettes they are, I think they're exactly $30, if I am not mistaken. Yes, they are. They are exactly $30 Canadian, so I really think that this is worth the buy if you want to experience some bright colors. Go to Morphe. Honestly, go to Morphe. Their shipping isn't all that bad, and they are sold in Sephora. They do have some other palettes. If that color story speaks to you, you really do get a crap ton of eyeshadows for a really reasonable price. The next brand that I want to talk about, it's just, you know, it doesn't even matter what you buy from them, although I have seen that they have been getting a little bit more expensive lately. BH Cosmetics. Their stuff is super, super cheap. I'm just going to start with the first big palette I have from them. If you're a neutral lover, lover, you'll love this. This is their Modern Neutrals 28 Color Eyeshadow Palette. I love this palette. It is very, very nice quality for the price. The, the colors are beautiful. They have huge, huge array of shades, but obviously there is a ton of repeats in here, and that's the only problem I have with any of these palettes, honestly, besides maybe the Wet n Wild ones, is that there is some repeat. If you're looking for larger palettes that are good quality and still cheap, you're going to find a lot of repeat shades, so you will have to kind of deal with that. That'll have like really subtle differences, but they will be different, especially when it comes to neutrals. But I do love this palette. It blends really beautifully, and I think a white base works best with the BH Cosmetics eyeshadows. Another really great, oh, I've got quite a few here from BH Cosmetics. The only one that I don't love is this one. This is the Solar Flare. This is their baked eyeshadows. They can be difficult to use sometimes. I honestly, I usually just scrape a little bit with my brush and then I go in with a little bit of spray and they work great, but it can be hard to actually get them picked up on the brush. They're beautiful though, and they're very inexpensive. So if you're like interested in playing with some baked products, very inexpensive. They're all shimmers. Another one that didn't, it didn't wow me, but then I changed my mind. And it is the BH Cosmetics. They have a new Take Me to Brazil. This one, they don't even sell it anymore. So I'm assuming that one's probably even better. If you use a white base like the Makeup Revolution um, Cut Crease Concealer, if you use that, anything that's like a little bit stickier, these will actually work pretty darn well for the price tag. I think they're like $12. I will kind of put down below the sites where you can buy this stuff and also, you know, like the Wet n Wild palettes, for instance, they can be found wherever Wet n Wild is sold. Anyways, two more BH Cosmetics palettes that I have are the Weekend Festival. This was in last year's Best Palettes of the Year. It's a colorful palette. It's beautiful, inexpensive as well, and BH Cosmetics does range. A lot of their larger palettes are a little less expensive than these ones, so it just depends on what you want. Again, if you really love neutrals, this is their Royal Affair. They have this on sale, very like neutrally toned, 
palette. I've done some really beautiful looks with this. I really didn't need it though. <laughs> BH Cosmetics and they are a great brand. You do have to pay for shipping. I realize that but if you live in Canada you can go to Winners and you can pick their palettes up. I picked this one up there. You can get BH Cosmetics without having to purchase from the site. The next brand I'm going to talk about is Rude Cosmetics. So Rude Cosmetics is sold in my showcase. It's a store here in Canada. You can also go on their website. I'm sure it's sold somewhere in the US. I just don't live in the US so I don't know. And I have two palettes from them. The first one is the Fairy Tale palette, and this is by far my favorite palette that I have from them. It looks like this. Now, these palettes I got for $19.99, $20, and I do like the quality. Now, the only thing is, some of these shades work better than others. And that's just the the raw truth of it. I think out of all of these brands, this brand can have a few off shades more often than the rest, if that makes sense to you. I really suggest that maybe you go in to a store if you can and swatch these. Or if you're, you know, you're like, you know what, I'm just gonna try. Try this one. The fairy tale palette was really good. I love the concept. They have some greens. There's a mustard yellow in here that, where is that one? Right here. Oh, it's to die for. But a ton, 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 ton of shades for a very small amount. Also, they have the Rude Awakening. This is their Pulp Fiction palette. I like this palette. But there are a few shades that I was just like, why? Why do you have these in here? Again, it's just like there were quite a few shades that I was just like, huh? And I also found that there were not as many beautiful shimmers as there were in the Fairy Tale palette. They have some really bomb shimmer formula in that palette. Whereas this one, the only two that I really loved were like these two right here. They're very, very, very creamy. Oh gosh, let's just put that up to the camera. Bam, they're very, very nice. So it just depends on what kind of eyeshadow palettes you're looking for. I think the mattes work really beautiful in both of these palettes. I just, I like the shimmers better in the fairy tale. All right, so last but not least, we have the final brand, I'm going to say brand because there's several th like palettes that I want to talk about uh, that we're going to talk about in this video and that is Wet and Wild. Now this isn't no big huge palette to be perfectly honest. These are obviously much 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 smaller. Um, there's how many shades are in each one? Gosh one second. There are 10 shades in each of their palettes. They bring out limited edition palettes here, there, and everywhere, but they have a bunch of palettes that are permanent to their collection that I see every single time I go up to a Wet n Wild display. So the first ones are the ones that are in their permanent collection. Actually, do I have any that are limited edition? No, I just have the two new ones, and I'm not sure if they're keeping them or not. But you have such a variety. These, I think, if I'm not mistaken, are like $8.50 a piece. So if we're going for like palettes under 30, you could buy three of these and have 30 different shades. They include mattes and shivers. They redid a bunch of these palettes from their most famous palettes like their Comfort Zone, Not a Basic Peach. They have Rose in the Air, which is a new one that they kind of did after the Modern Renaissance. A very nice, a very nice palette. And then you also have this Nude Awakening, which is like mauve and cool toned. But the ones that I wanted to talk about right here are their new ones. These ones have some really unique shades in them that I think that maybe the person that doesn't have a whole ton of eyeshadows may not have. But then it also has a bunch of mattes. I really love this VI Purple right here. So freaking pretty. The shades are beautiful. You have one, two, three, four, five mattes in this palette. And then like, ugh, 
These shimmers are really pretty. They really are quite beautiful. So I'm really happy with Wet n Wild. And this one here is a little more dark, a little bit more gold. This is Cosmic Collision. But they have a matte green. Oh, they have a matte green in here that is so pretty. So, so, so pretty. And it blended pretty good. For the money, these blend pretty good. I would say that for the wet and wild ones, um, you don't really have to worry as much about setting with a sticky base. They work quite well, but I would definitely work more on like a powdered base where you can blend them out really nicely. I use somewhat smaller brushes just so I can get a really precise blend because sometimes I feel like they can get out of hand a little bit, a little too blown out, you know what I mean, where they all like muddle together and all that good stuff. But Wet n Wild is so cheap and like I have one, two, three, four, five, I have six of their mini palettes. That is a crap ton of eyeshadows for the money. So yeah, anyway. That's, that's all I've got to say today. That is all I've got to say. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I wanted to share some little tidbits about some palettes and try not to break them and try to, you know, open your eyes on eyeshadow. It is an awesome world. And honestly, I wish more people that knew me wore more eyeshadow because I really need some inspiration. Ugh. But yeah, I love you guys so, so much. I love having you guys here because you guys are the only ones that listen to my makeup rant and actually enjoy it. Maybe, maybe. All right, all right. Like this video, subscribe to my channel, of course, subscribe. And yeah, one of these videos will be popping up here. Maybe it's one that you'll like, maybe it's not, but you should click here or here or here or here. All right, Mwah. bye.